Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is Cody Made Easy coming to you with another game development video. So, uh, not much has passed uh, since the last. No, well, not a lot of things have been updated since the last time I posted the last video of my demo release. Uh, sorry to the people that really couldn't run my game when I uploaded it to my website. Uh, something went wrong and for some reason it won't run properly. But as soon as I fix that, I'll let you guys know. So, uh, now there's not much that I've updated, but I've updated a, a few elements, and I decided that I would just show you just, yeah, just to show you guys. Uh, oh, there are some errors. Ooh, not expected. Oh, okay, because I was doing something. So right here, where I got the error, I was just look, um, working on the event system, so I almost got it finished. I was thinking of finishing uh, the transfer event, then making this uh, video, but I will make a whole entire video on the event system later on. <clears throat> Okay, so once you create your character, this character was randomly generated that I um, use whatever. So uh, your character can walk around. It is tile-based movement, right? So he, uh, the player moves at 32 by 32 tiles. Can't go off the screen. I've added a parallax animation class, so then the background moves. So uh, uh, my first city is going to be a city in the sky, right? So when I design the map, it's going to be I'll have them uh, this growing in the background I might have some tiles that are say transparent such as like glass tiles so you can see through the glass tiles and still see the sky through the glass tiles so it'll be it'll be kind of cool that way now uh, as you see you see this tile right here this randomly generated tile uh, it has some significance uh, to why I did it that way because um, I was just using that to test out something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from static to horizontal. We recompile this or just rerun it because I don't need to compile because it's a text file. So if you notice when I switch to horizontal it moves uh, to a given range and it'll move back and forth. Right? Uh, so let me exit this. Let me change this to vertical now. And as you can probably guess, once I change this to vertical and I run this, it moves in a vertical motion. And one other thing that I try to implement is a wave motion, like a sine wave. Now, for those of you who've taken, say, pre calculus or calculus, know how to generate sine waves. I haven't used sine waves in a really, really long time, right? So I still have to do, um, I still got to do the right calculation so it would fit back into the original spot. Shouldn't be too hard, but I have to like um, relearn what I learned when I was learning sine waves because I, I really don't remember too, too much about it. Uh, so yeah. So that's what you can basically do for now. Nothing special. Right now I'm really working on the uh the event system. It's gonna be really it's really gonna be a really cool event system. Um and when I implement it, I'll show you how I implement it and how it works and everything. So uh that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. So um that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.